he yeah. and they determined that Milwaukee was already second in the nation with police brutality and nothing was Now we're saying the all cops are not bad. But what we are saying is that any cop who's supposed to uphold the law cannot break the law at the same time with carrying it's out their duty. It's organized crime, and when we have a mayor, a chief, and people in leadership positions who protect these things that happen and don't speak out against these things when it happens and wait to the community to uprise in order for you to wake up and realize that these things have been happening, then we are in a state of emergency. Because in order for you to look in your city and realize that you have a crisis and do nothing about it, we have a problem. Mm -hmm. And when you can't address the issue in your city from a leadership standpoint, then maybe you don't have the means of what it takes to because be mayor in this they city. They bypass the check-in line at the hospital. So what's not getting reported? How many people have to die, be injured, hurt, abused, molested for us to take a stance? When we start talking about accountability, Occupy the Hood is definitely first and foremost to make sure that we hold ourselves And uh, Friday, mm -hmm. Occupy the Hood and, and, and like I said, members of the community came down here on Friday. And we came down here to, 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 to ask for this before it even got this far. So there's something wrong when it takes this long for someone to be heard. We want the best for this community. And when we see wrongdoing, we feel compelled to call it out. We feel compelled to see something done. And we will not stop until all members of the Police and Fire Commission are removed and replaced with people that represent the interests Under of this community. Under the conditions of sadness, this is a sad day in the city of Milwaukee. We will not stop until we get justice in the 414 community. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're just asking for something that was already written. Justice. Yeah, don't don't people. Why are you here? Don't answer any questions. People come here and not. Everybody's feeling here. Everybody's feeling here. This is completely appropriate. All of this is completely appropriate. What I want to know is if you can't answer, if you just want people to come and vent, if you can't answer any questions to the people, why are you here? Our time! Our time! Our time! Our time! Speak what you want to say, baby. That's right. well, as long as you want to say it, you get it all out. Like a police officer getting my nephew. That's right. For 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. Go ahead, brother. We went on track. Let him see. I got to How y'all doing? You sitting there texting on your phone. You looking at your phone. You're not paying attention to what we saying. You can't even look us in the eye. Right. That's been reported. All right. Let me address it one step further. Before the listening session, Mr. Tobin announced there was a reconvening of the panel to consider further. Oh, she Flynn has got to go!